Hi, I'm Amanda Stanko. GIS is often used outdoors. Now increasingly, it's being used more indoors. As we plan to return to the office, we can use ArcGIS indoors to follow social distancing guidelines and provide safe working environments. I'm going to show you how we can explore Esri's campus in detail with ArcGIS indoors. This is building Q. And here's where I am right now. We can easily see more details about each room, such as the room type, contact number, capacity, and we can continue to explore each floor of this building. We can switch to 3D to view all floors at once and look at the entire campus. Every building, floor, and room is now displayed in 3D. Next, let's take a look at some return to work analysis to see how six foot social distancing guidelines may impact our workspaces. These are the six foot buffers within each office to see how much space we have. The first thing we wanted to do is to see how much space we have now and understand our staff's current seating arrangement. The purple, orange, and green buffers our offices contain safely within four walls. But the blue buffers are my primary focus. These are locations where staff are seated closely together in cubicles. Let's take a look at a building that has many cubicles. And the potential seating conflicts, the intersection red where our six foot buffers overlap. Performing an office inspection with Collector, we were able to gather more details about these spaces. We measured wall height and took photographs to get more information about these intersects. Now that we understand our staff's current seating arrangement, we can update the seating plan around new safety requirements. And the new space planner for ArcGIS indoors is the perfect tool for this. We can create multiple plans, such as alternating days, to minimize the amount of staff in the office at any one time. Let's open this plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we're going to update the seating plan to ensure safe seating for everyone. Zooming in to these cubicles here, the lighter shade are occupied, the darker shade are vacant, and potential seating conflicts are shown in red. In the upper left here, we have densely packed staff with overlapping spaces. We want to find a safer seat for Bernadette. To do this, we first unassign from this current seat, Confirm. The next step is to find a safer option for Bernadette. Space is pretty tight here, so we'll look upstairs. Now we just drag and drop to this open office. And we've updated the seating plan to assign safe seating for all staff. The last update I want to make is an alternative to traditional assigned seating, a more flexible seating called office hotels. This is an increasingly common business practice that allows any staff that come in the option to book a clean, sanitized room on an as-needed basis. Let's go back to building Q and assign some of these offices as office hotels. This will consolidate space for the increasing number of us working from home. To select these offices, I draw a polygon to select them all at once. And then assign as hotels. Let's take a look at the mobile device and see how any staff can reserve an office hotel. As you can see, it has the same view and data. Let's zoom into this corner office. And to reserve a corner office, I just select the hotel button, select the day, space type, select that office, and book. Now the office is reserved for the day. These are just a few of the capabilities of ArcGIS indoors. With indoors, you can locate people and places, you can get indoor routing directions, and you can submit and manage geotag service requests, both in Enterprise and now in ArcGIS Online. Thank you.